What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to downgrade a CUDA install on Ubuntu Linux. Essentially, you'd want to do this if you're trying to install something like TensorFlow, for example, which as you can see, only supports CUDA 11.2. But after a quick Google, you can see CUDA supports all the way up to 11.7, which is way too high. Things just won't work properly. So there's a couple of steps that we'll be following in this quick guide over here to downgrade CUDA on our Ubuntu install. First of all, we'll be removing CUDA and we'll download and install the new CUDA, rather the older one, set up environment variables, and finally download CUDNN. It's relatively simple, though there's a lot of commands that we'll be typing in. You'll find all of these in the description down below or in a paste bin link down there as well. Now let's start and open up the terminal first of all, and inside of here, we'll be typing in some commands. First of all, we'll be removing our existing CUDA. I'll copy and paste the commands from the description down below and hit enter, then enter my pseudo password and hit Y, then enter to let it run through and remove all of our NVIDIA packages. So pressing Y a couple of times, everything's been removed, and finally we need to restart our computer. You can of course type in the sudo reboot, or use the power button in the top right. For me, I'll be stopping my recording and entering sudo reboot. Now that we've restarted inside of Ubuntu here, the first thing we'll be doing before we download a specific version of CUDA is make sure that we have Build Essentials downloaded and installed. You'll find this link in the description down below. I'll simply copy and paste in the Build Essentials install command and wait for this to run through to completion. Now we need to look at what version we need to download and according to this website over here, I need CUDA 11.2. So that's exactly what I'll be downloading. I'll search for CUDA 11.2 download Linux and in the nvidia.com website here, I'll click the first link and I should get some install instructions after selecting the correct version that I'm currently running. In my case, Linux 64 Ubuntu, even though the version isn't exactly correct, it should be close enough. Then I'll choose the Deb network, not that this really matters, and I'll copy this here. This is the install command and I'll copy it from the start to the end. Just note that you won't find this in the description down below as you need to find it yourself. So with everything copied from that block there, I can minimize this, head into my terminal, and I'll right click paste it in here. Though before we run it, we'll look at the very last line, sudo apt-get install CUDA. Make sure to add a hyphen followed by the version we're trying to install here. In my case, 11.2. I'll then hit enter and wait for everything to run through to completion. There we go. I'll hit enter. And now as requested, our CUDA library that we asked for will now be downloaded and installed. This of course can take some time, depending on the speed of your internet. And as you can see, something seemed to fail here. So I'll apt get update fix missing sudo. And let's see if that fixes it. I would assume so. I'll try reinstalling it again. No. Hmm. Okay, let's try a different mirror. Let me go start update, software updates. Now I'll change from a South African mirror all the way to the main server just for this. There we go. Let's refresh software cache on close. And let's try again. There we go, simply running the install command once more. Things seem to be working properly now. For some reason, this package was missing from our South African mirror. And as prompted about halfway through the install, it asked us to restart. So that's exactly what I'll do now before continuing. There we go, now for step three, setting up our environment variables. In the description down below, once more, you'll find some more commands and we'll be rebooting right after running them. Though do keep in mind, before you run these commands, you'll need to edit them. So for this, I'd recommend copying it into a text editor or simply open up a terminal and inside of here, I'll right click and paste the command. Now we'll need to edit this before we do anything. As you can see, echo export path equals user local CUDA 10.0, but of course you'll need to change this to your version. For me, I'll need to change it to 11.2 and I'll head all the way back to the previous line, 11.2. If you're not too sure of what you have, I'll create a new terminal and inside of here, I'll type in cd slash user slash local and I'll ls to find the folders inside of it. We have CUDA 11.2, so that's the version I'll be entering in here, CUDA 11.2. Then I'll simply hit enter to run these commands and add CUDA to our environment variables, otherwise known as path. Now, once more, unsurprisingly, we'll be restarting our PC once more. Now we'll be downloading and installing CUDNN. So once again, I'll open up a new terminal and inside of here, we'll be running some commands, which you'll find down below. So first of all, we'll open up the CUDNN archive, which you'll find down below. 
Then I'll open up the one that relates to our current install that we want to get. So inside of here, all we need to do is hit Control F, search for 11.2, which is our version, find the latest one, expand it, and then click the Linux x86 64 download link. You may be asked to sign in if you are simply sign in with your NVIDIA credentials, and we can then download it to our computer. So I'll click save here. Note that we will need that name in just a moment, so you can copy the file name, otherwise we can get it just now. Now that it's done downloading, I'll open up the folder and we can open a terminal in here. So here's the folder, right click open in terminal and inside of him, I'll be typing in tar hyphen xzvf space and I'll hit tab to enter the name here. CUDNN 11.2 Linux, etc, etc. I'll then hit enter and we'll extract all of these files into a new folder here called CUDA. Pretty simple. So now we just need to wait for this to finish and we'll be copying some of these files in just a moment. There we go. Then I'll paste in the command from the description down below. And as you can see, inside of here, we're basically copying some files. cudnn.h, we're copying into our current install. Same with all of the libcudnn files, copying those too. And we're setting permissions for the libcudnn files. I'll hit enter, enter my pseudo password, and we'll simply wait for this to copy. Assuming you type your password right. There we go. Now that we're done with this, we can check our NVIDIA CUDA version. So NVCC space hyphen capital V, and as you can see, CUDA compiler driver, we're currently running release 11.2. Awesome. Now that we're done with that, we're done installing CUDA. Just make sure to not update CUDA in the future as you may run into some issues. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.